So I saw this movie, and I'm kind of mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of mad about it. By the way, prepare yourself because you are probably not gonna like this review. The Green Knight is brought to us by director David Lauer and stars Dev Patel and Alicia Vikander. So since seeing the trailer for this movie, I've really been looking forward to it. And while it does deal with Arthurian lore, which is typically a bit more exciting, I wasn't expecting that. Considering it was coming from director David Lauer in his previous work, Ghost Story, and he also made Pete's Dragon, but we're not gonna talk about that, I figured that this was going to be a more thought-provoking somber story. And it is, but that's not my problem with it. First and foremost, let's go ahead and get a few things out of the way. This movie looks gorgeous. The sets, the costumes, and especially the cinematography is absolutely beautiful. There are many shots that you could take from this movie and frame them and put them on your wall. They're absolutely gorgeous. And the cinematography mixed with the really interesting score makes it a treat for the eyes. Also, the performances. Dave Patel, which is the vast majority of the performances in this movie, does a great job. His portrayal of Gawain is, as they say, Oscar worthy for those that are into that kind of thing. He isn't the only one though. Everybody here does a fantastic job in the performance performance department. The movie looks great, it sounds great, and it is performed wonderfully. But holy fuck, it is boring as shit. All right, go ahead. Now's the part where you flood the comment section below. Now I try and stay away from reviews of movies that I haven't seen yet that I plan on reviewing. And this was one of them, but it was a bit hard because this movie's just everywhere. Everybody's talking about how great it is and it's a masterpiece and one of the best movies of the year, if not the best movie of the year. Leading up to it, I just couldn't get away from it. And while I was already really looking forward to this movie, after hearing all that, I was like, hell yes, I am really pumped for this movie now. I had not seen or heard a bad thing about this movie at all. Everybody was raving about the visuals and the performances and just how interesting the movie was. The word masterpiece was thrown around all over the place. You know the one thing you didn't hear a lot about though? The story and the pace. Now to be fair, the story here is not bad. I actually like what the story is trying to convey. Now it is very obtuse and there are a whole lot of underlying themes and subtext here. And real quick before any of you say that oh you're just too dumb and dim and you just don't get it, yes I got all the subtext. I got everything Thing the movie was trying to sell. I just didn't give a shit because I was bored out of my fucking mind from the snail's pace. My eyes were thoroughly entertained with the extremely interesting visuals, but my brain was on the verge of sleep throughout the entire two hour runtime. Pretty sure I checked out for a few seconds at least two or three times during this movie. Now I did like the overall story arc that the story was trying to convey. I just didn't like the journey getting there. You know how a lot of times people say that the journey was more interesting than the destination? Well, not here. The journey was boring as hell, but the destination really wasn't all that either. I mean, admittedly, I get and like the point of it all. I just didn't think that everything leading up to it was anywhere near necessary. I'm kind of blown away by how much praise this movie's getting. Because take something like Lord of the Rings, which I love. That is one of, if not my favorite movie ever made. Yes, all three are one big ass movie. But that series, especially the first film, Fellowship of the Ring, is often described as like a walking simulator cinematic version. You'll hear people complain about how it's really just about this group of characters that walk from here to here the whole entire movie. They're just walking the whole time. Well, I mean, what the fuck was this? It's this guy walking from point A to point B and some interesting visuals in between. And there's just really nothing of any real substance that happens between here and there. Some will say that he as a character grows while on his journey, but he doesn't. When he gets to his destination, he hasn't grown a bit. It's not till he arrives at his destination and a certain thing happens that there is any substantial growth. Speaking of the destination, aka the payoff, well, yes, there is a payoff to this film and we do get a resolution to this story arc, many of you are not going to be happy with this thing. Now me myself, by the time I got to that point, the way this movie ended, I actually just kind of let out a laugh. The rest of the theater looked a bit confused, but I knew as soon as it did it what the fuck just happened and I just kind of laughed about it. That's all I could do at that point. And as I walked out and saw the other people in the theater trying to do the mental gymnastics to say that yeah, this movie was actually really good and it was very thought provoking and it, it was great. I could tell by the looks on their faces, they like me were like, what the 
fuck? Now I wasn't expecting a big action adventure and I don't need my movies to have that. This type of movie I typically do gravitate towards, but something about this one, namely the fucking pace, is just not for me. If it is for you and you love it, good for you, that's great. But me, I just couldn't get down with. There are long tracking shots of pretty much nothing throughout this entire movie. And it's weird because another one of my favorite movies ever made, There Will Be Blood, features a lot of these types of shots and I love it. But something else that movie features that this one doesn't is some form of substance in the middle of the film. There's just not though. I didn't take anything away from this movie beyond don't wear a nut drenched sash. You'll get what I mean if you see the movie. I mean, what the fuck? I also don't get how so many people think this is such a masterpiece. I mean, maybe I am the minority and that's fine. If you love this movie, that is great. But I just don't see it. I get the movie. I get what it was saying. Nothing there is lost on me. But regardless of how thought provoking the movie was, regardless of how fantastic it looked, sounded, and was acted, at the end of the day, it was boring. And if you're boring, by contrast, you're not entertaining and you are a form of entertainment. So in my eyes, you kind of failed at your job. Guys, I could keep on going on and on about how I thought this movie was boring, but that's not going to do anybody any favors. The fact of the matter is, I didn't care for this movie. I know a lot of people are saying that they did, and hey, good on you, but me personally, it just wasn't for me. I hate to totally rag on the movie because it did have some good things going for it. It looked fantastic, it sounded wonderful, and it was acted really well. But at the end of the day, that does not change the fact that I was bored out of my fucking mind the vast majority of its runtime. And while it may have a lot of good components there, they just didn't come together right for me. Part of me wants to give this movie a better review because of these things, but that would be a bit disingenuous. That's not what I set out to do here on this channel. I didn't set out to give a review based on what you think, or they think, or she thinks, or everybody thinks. I set out to give reviews based on what I think. And I just didn't like this movie. So as far as I'm concerned, The Green Knight is only really worth checking out on USA Up All Night. It's not worth it. Hi, I'm Gilbert Godfrey. Hi, it's Ron on USA. Oh, it's so good. It's just not worth it. Judging by what everybody else is saying about this movie, a lot of people probably aren't really gonna like this review. And that's okay. If you loved it, you loved it, but for me, it just didn't do it. But that's my opinion. I just didn't like the movie. If you wanna come on here and tell me how I'm dumb and my opinion's wrong, well, I can turn right around and say your opinion's wrong. But I'm not gonna do that, because your opinion's not wrong. It is just that. It's your opinion as mine is mine. And in my opinion, this movie was disappointing and it's just not worth it. So if you're looking for something to watch for the night, The Green Knight, in my opinion, ain't it. So there it is, guys, my review of The Green Green Knight. If you enjoyed, <laughs> yeah right. Want more content like this? Hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you want to help out the channel, check out my Patreon in the description below and become a jarhead and get some of the awesome benefits to go along with that like these guys. And maybe join my top tier and become a bad motherfucker like my man Greg. Sorry Greg for calling you out in this video because this one's probably going to get a whole lot of hate. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why, which I'm sure you will. And as always, stay sexy Britannia. That is why I'm night does what he does. Are you ready? So in the beginning of this video, I said I was mad and I just noticed I didn't really go back and explain why. The reason why is because leading up to this movie, as I said, everybody was saying this movie was so great. It's just wonderful, mystical, magical. It is the best movie of the year. And that got me really hyped. So I went into this thing just pumped. I took my wife with me and I told her, hey, you're gonna like this movie. Everybody's saying it's so great. It's like the fucking movie of end of the year. Nobody dislikes it. It's gonna be awesome. And then we saw the movie and yeah, it wasn't. So yeah, I was a little mad because I got super pumped for this shit. And I get in there and that's what I got. Nutrag, the fucking movie. I mean, really, it made me kind of mad. I went in there super hyped because everybody got me that way and then this is what happened. I still wouldn't have cared for the movie, but it wouldn't have bothered me that much if everybody wasn't saying it was such a masterpiece. I find it hard to believe that I'm the only one that didn't care for this movie, but everybody's saying it's so great. So I get in there under these false pretenses and then that's what I get. I haven't been this fucking mad since the English patient. Hey.